but I'm not entirely certain on that. But I'm pretty sure. Mechanics isn't my strong suit. Oh, well, I'm not going to correct you on it. <laughs> That's actually like the one thing that I don't really know all about. Oh, uh, Gold Black <laughs> trouble right now. The Diddy Rune even being denied up by Pycat, so no one gets to join. Gold Black's gonna be the first blood right now, and the extra jump up from Nickel gives him the well. high ground advantage up against Vanscore with the stun with the magic missile. It's not gonna be enough for control as uh, Nickel just sticks with it, and Vanscore can't turn around and attack it because the living armor being on that Phoenix, there's no way you're gonna find anything. Oh, and then he goes down mid. Ah, uh, disasters across the board. Chances. Than you are with what the puck has right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we're 11 minutes in with four to one. I'm seeing a large amount of prep coming in for uh, for Avost. They're going to give him the empower, and they got a triple stack of the ancients. Phobos got to be careful. Oh, they see him, and well, yeah, I don't think he can really get himself away from this one. Glutes back the RP with the blink dagger from Denny, able to connect. They've already lost the puck over with the shockwave and wave of terror magic missile. Pike has the primary target, but they're not going to get any. They might want to actually focus their own, focus their own arc because they keep battling inside the shrapnel. It's coding up Navi. It's another three going their way. The Phoenix will die on top lane to the Phantom Assassin, but they just lost their puck until he can glimpse a boss all the way back down. The wall not available, and then a blink. He used this wolf, leaving it behind, so he's able to blink back up to it. And now, in comes the Phoenix again. Remember, no over this time around. The RP only catching up the drop. The overgrowth trying by the space. We will be watching Arke going down very quickly because the finger of death has fan score. The Hex buying him some space loader is finally back to his sport normal self. And Godlike needs to get the hell out of here. A Vorst being assassinated to 17 life points. But he is... I mean, you've got the tree armor as well that can effectively save you. Boda has a lot of HP and he's got a BKB on top of that as well. They're waiting for Roshan Alliance. Either that or they're waiting to try and kill somebody. And they might have the opportunity. Phobos blinks himself in, but Avors is still here. Not going to trigger the BKB. In fact, I think they just said, let the puck die here. And they're going to glimpse Avors back and he has to BKB. There's no choice. It's still two minutes until Roshan Havos. Is he really wanting to try and fight this one? With a crit, just three swipes. He gets the kill, gets out of Mad's ultimate with that mana style. And the lead seed is slowing him down with Pycat right in his rear. The Stratton will be there, and Havos knows he just has to turn. Knight RP catching up Pycat as well as Nick. Well, Havos trying to get in closer. The Norv is down at the moment, and who's there to really kill it off? Havos turns around, but he is way too late. Phoenix will end up just exploding the line as he has Troll Waller giving the space inside that Nova. And Havos, crit time. He's ever at least going to trip will kill out from this and the Harvey that just felt like a fight of indecision time. more than anything else from us a late game Midas it went a 29 treads. minute catch up Midas no that's a treads I think I can't imagine him getting a Midas at this point the south doesn't make a lot of sense and why it's also back in his stash either way now the boss actually attacking into the alpha wolf instead of going in for loader Phoenix jumps up he's still got Nova available and Phobos can't really do much here at all a boss at least able to find one pickup on that disruptor as the BKB will now trigger but Pycat kiting him out loader as well as Pycat the two cores going to work at the same time you do lose well they lose more Dendi now he's backing out they don't have any RPO option and loader will go in and finish up Roshan this will also be of... practically his Monkey King bar. <laughs> so Loda sent his wolf in and then Havo stole it back. He almost dominated it. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a cheeky play, but the oh. issue right now for Alliance is that they have so many different of a game uh, gap closer. Because it's still like an 11k lead right now for Alliance, and as long as they build on the back of the troll and the sniper, those are better cores than what Navi have right now. A glimpse. They're gonna go in, Phobos destroyed, Loader was there inside of the Invis rune. They do lose the Disruptor at the same time, but Playcat was in the perfect position for the follow-up. This will be three players lost here for Na'Vi. A triple kill for Loader. He only just purchased that Monkey King bar, and he's already up another two things behind him. The issue is if you buy back with your PA, then there's no chance you're gonna be getting a, a Bissell Blade in the next three minutes. And you absolutely need one to kill the sniper. Because right now, Pycat's just kiting her to death. And you can't really fight this because he's got an Aegis still as well that you have to consider. Loaded load actually takes no damage whatsoever sitting on this high ground. Because with the that living so armor great. protecting him, uh, there's also vision everywhere. Because we've got the Aghanim Scepter over on the tree and protector, these, these eyes in the forest are starting to be spammed out everywhere. So it's, it's very difficult for Navi to get any kind of positional advantage, which is what Magnus needs in order to get any kind of chance to, to get that five man RP that Navi are begging for. And Alliance back. And it's making it so awkward for Tendi to try to go in. Like, he's essentially playing the initiator slash space creator role uh, for Navi, and he's doing it really well right now. Mm -hmm. 
Like this is the uh, the clockwork at that point. And the only thing you really need to do is then find that level six on him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at at right. a decent time, because then you can you can stop the sniper from ever getting a BKB. Havorst is dead, uh, unless he's gonna. Okay, he directly BKs bees. But Matt, he's waiting for. He's gonna get a four man ultimate into the Nova as well. They're all gonna burn a four solo on life with the disrupt. They're all the combination the ball. They drag them all back. This is over, man. They've lost everybody. The whole kit and caboodle. PA buys back into the game, and uh, well, that can kiss your your abyss. Goodbye, and Banskar, in fact, will be the man to call it. Gain number one in just shy of 36 minutes is going to go the way of Alliance. Yeah, really well played by Alliance. I completely underrated their draft. I keep forgetting that Tree Phoenix is amazing. They didn't really have a lot of disables, and their only real initiation early game was the Ake Disruptor, but he did such a good job looking for pickoffs. The warding was optimal by Alliance, and they were just able to get kill after kill using Glimpse. And the overall, once the Roshans happened too.